Yo, 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 welcome to the NEO Podcast, it's your boy Young Tro. What up, what up, it's your boy Brandon. Hey, first off, subscribe to us from wherever you're watching or listening. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, at NEO Podcast. And as always, if you want to give us a bag, you can email us at neopodcast at gmail.com. Hey, yo, uh, Free ain't here. Mike Free ain't here. Shout out to Mike Free. Uh, but subscribe to us on YouTube. Subscribe to us on YouTube. <laughs> Follow us on YouTube. Set the notification for the little bell shit you be doing. The I, I, I don't know what it is, but the eye. You know I'm saying, but that follow us, follow us, follow us. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> subscribe. Wow. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I, I got to pick up where my, where my guy leave off. You feel me? I don't know what he be talking about. You you doing your eye like that was scary looking. <laughs> oh my goodness. Niggas ain't never seen the white part of his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> what up, son? Hey yo, man. How was your week? Um it was regular. I had a regular week. I ain't do nothing. I have I ain't do anything actually. I just was uh going through the motions. Had a good week. Yo, man. I, I had a wonderful week. Awesome week. Incredible weekend. <laughs> Celebrated anniversaries. And, and <clears throat> been with the kids. Blew a couple bags. You know, regular, dagular. Mm-hmm. But nah. Uh, um, awesome, man. Woke up to um, some good news, good contracts, good business going. Set man, trying to get to this movement. Oh yeah, yeah yeah. My birthday coming up. Yes sir. Yeah yeah. Calm Calm down, crowd. Crowd, calm down, crowd, calm down. What the chicks say? You gonna what the chicks be saying? You gonna get on some ball headed ratchet shit? That's what I'm gonna do. That's what the chicks be saying. It's my birthday. I'm about to get on some ball headed ratchet shit. I guess I don't know. Whatever, whatever's clever, I'm um, I'm I'm with it. I don't know. Hopefully, my wife doing something for me. Be, yeah, you know she's doing something. Yeah, she she's been acting weird. So. You know she's doing something. Hey yo, it's dope when <clears throat> it's dope when you really don't care if you don't, if you, if your spouse don't do nothing as long as they just a little bit more extra in in the bedroom. <laughs> that birthday sex, the only thing that matters. Nah, man. <laughs> you are crazy. That's it. Yo, I ain't get you nothing, but I'm going to give you some dough for an hour. <laughs> dough for an hour? I don't even know if I want that. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that's I don't know. That's kind of Hey, yo, that's, that's a, yo, I don't know, man. Niggas, I, head is amazing. Don't get me wrong. Oh. But I think niggas be over making that overrated, bro. Nah, that just not overrated. Some stuff <laughs> overrated, bro. No, no. Hey, don't be going so crazy to the point that junk sensitive is dust, and I can't even enjoy it. Niggas don't. I don't. I don't never want to. I don't never want to run. Niggas, <laughs> 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 be running. So no, no. Like my voice is not designed to hiss. Hit certain certain octaves. octaves. <laughs> you know what I'm <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying like, yo, oh, man, no, get man. that junk right. I like all that. I like all those. All those. <laughs> I like all that, man. That is yo, amazing. I know what I can't take that junk after you, after you, after you bust and try to keep going. You wildin'. Stop it. Ooh, Just hold- cut it. Out. You talking huh? about the after you finish? Yes, man. Did yeah, she that's... catch it all? Mm-hmm. And then still try to keep going? Yo, you probably look mad crazy. <laughs> mad crazy. Yo, I don't know, man. 
I said, I, I couldn't release no sex tape, nigga. I'd probably be looking crazy, so. Yeah, crazy. Mm-mm. Yo, what's up? What, uh, what, what's been going on this week? I don't know. I, know. I sent you that, um, that Derek Jackson stuff. Yo, you, you don't watch Snowfall? That? You heard me? Huh? I said, you, you know everybody talking about that Derek Jackson junk. What you think about that? And they got caught up. He a man like everybody else. That's why men shouldn't do that shit. They shouldn't do what? They shouldn't critique everybody else's situation. Like they perfect, because they not. Yo, they that's not always that's always recipe for disaster. Come on, man. It's always and there's always a somewhere in it's so it's always something that somebody should be could be counseling and critiquing about you. And it's gonna come up. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody wrong but you, but now you wrong. Hey yo, we were separated, and nigga, you were married. Yo, the crazy junk is I never seen him look that insecure though. He was looking crazy to me. I was like, dang, he really got caught up. He tried to get his wife to come over there and sit in. <laughs> that junk is funny, yo. I don't know, man. Hey, yo, for for you to be a grown man and for you to be a relationship. "Quote unquote expert and, and and a relationship accountability partner to people that you don't even know." Um, the statement is, uh, uh, "I didn't cheat; I was separated." Speaks volume on 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 your credibility. Mm. That's cheating, bro. And like it, it, you still have a vow to this woman. You separated. Feel what I'm saying? Now, granted. That's it. See, I'm I'm to, saying to like, the average Joe. No, no, no. To the average Joe, I feel you. But when you stand tall and critique everybody else about they shit, and everybody should be cut and dry with they shit, you should be too. You should be the example of how a stand up man should do. Yo, since because it's, since it's the right thing to do. Since his wife was there, what um do you think that? Um, I don't know who blew his spot up, first of all. And I don't know if his spot is even even blown up. The way how insecure he looked in that video makes me feel like he did blow his spot up. But I was gonna say, what's the rules of separation? Like what was the rules? You know what I'm saying? Everything got rules, yo. Hey, yo, guess what? Guess what matter? You 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 divorce your wife, you guys separate. You guys go through a legal separation. If her or your pro, your lawyer finds out that you have a whole nother relationship, that's gonna come up in your divorce case. <laughs> Still go down as adultery, bro. Nah, if it, not if the rules are set out when they go get a legal separation. That's all in notes. But if it's not, if it's not, then not yeah, yeah, you you done. That's it. what I'm saying, like. Yeah. But I don't know. At the end of the day, yo, power to that man. <laughs> yo, him and Kirk Franklin the same? Nah, I, yo, I, yo, I ain't even gonna hold you. I completely 100, it's two men that I support. Now, one of them, I support 50 over me supporting his son. And I, I, I feel his logic. Um, you support 50 over what? I don't know what you're saying. Over supporting his son. Oh, you know I'm saying? I, if you had. I, I rock with 50 more than I rock with his son. Like, when he, that nigga say, yo, I don't I don't think I love this nigga anymore. Like, how many times you going to keep loving somebody and they don't love you back? How many times you going to, somebody going to keep saying F you and you not, I feel him, bro. I feel him. Like, nobody, whether you came out of nigga nutsack or not, I don't owe you shit. Yeah, Nothing. that's hard to even say. You know what I'm saying? That's I, hard to even say when imagine how hard that was for him to say. Like, yo, I, I yo, I don't think it was hard. I think it was very easy. I think he was tr- he was trying to be wasn't he trying to be in that nigga life and stuff like that? Yeah, in the beginning, but what I'm saying is what I'm saying is I think once what, the, the when he got to the point of when he had that interview with the dude, the black dude from TMZ mm-hmm. and they was talking about it, uh um I think it was very easy for him to, for him to say that because he's dealt with it already. 
know what I'm saying? It's almost like you accept it, like, yo, this nigga don't fuck with me. He ain't never gonna fuck with me. He's his mother's child. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And 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 hopefully, you know what I'm saying, even with myself, like hopefully I never I, I don't reach that point. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully my son don't turn out to be like that. But it's a good possibility. But you're saying once you reach that point, it's easy to make that decision. But I'm saying this. Yeah, once once you reach that point, it's like, yo, my nigga, now at this point, I don't even want you as a child. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Now, now, where's your character? Just because you're somebody, just because you're somebody's child doesn't mean I have to agree with your character. And if I don't agree with your character, Especially if I don't you, agree with your character, then I can't rock with you. Yeah, I was about to say, especially when you um are grown. You know what I'm saying? You grown now. Yo, that joint with Kurt Franklin, his son a whole bitch ass nigga, like his daddy said. He had thir- he was 33? 33, and you out here, try it, try it. I wish you would. I wish you would. Shut your bitch ass up. <laughs> Kurt Franklin should have been. Yeah, that nigga should have. Yeah, and I felt it, Kurt Franklin. Yo, I tried. I've been, yo, I've been trying to deal with this nigga forever. It's yo, I don't, 30, I don't really, I don't really rock with the apology, though. Why? Because what are you apologizing for? Because he has a position. He's not apologizing. He's apologizing because he has a position, and 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 there's a lot of people that he owe an explanation to, and the reason why he owe an explanation to is because these people are the reason why he's able to be financially stable the way he is. Oh. You feel what I'm saying? So, to, and, and I I rock with the apology. I rock with the fact of yo, listen, <laughs> I was wrong. What was he wrong? Yeah. At? Huh? Where was he wrong? Threatening his child. Going sick. This nigga's Being 33 years old, man. I feel you. I feel you. But there's still a way to handle things. He 33. You handle things how you handle things at that age. I feel you. But when you in the, when you're in the public eye, you got to be I, I respect it if you, if you said, yo, uh, maybe like some corporate money or whatever getting messed up. You got to issue an apology. His fans, niggas that rock with Kirk Franklin, you don't owe us no apology. Most of us. Yo, that sound, yo, that sound crazy. Why? His, because his he has the worst people on earth. Looking at him. He has the worst people yo, on earth. The demons from hell, my nigga, are the ones critiquing him. So what? What you mean? That's why I'm saying, that's why I'm saying. Those people don't deserve no apology. That's what I'm saying. Those are the ones who getting them. Those are the ones who getting this nigga rich. Those are the ones who make sure you're rich. They're like, like it. That nigga had to, once he went. He was he was famous and rich, rich. Once he de- denounced religion. Okay. You know what I'm saying? He was already established, but beforehand, it was a whole bunch of shaking hands, a church folk. It was a whole bunch of church folk on your team. Church folk put you in a position. So because church folk is looking at you, then granted, he came up there and the, and the real nigga going to be a, say real nigga shit. Yo, listen, y'all try with this man. This this is not no little boy. This is a grown man. And 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 sometimes you don't just see eye to eye. And 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 you know da 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 blah blah blah. I respect it. His real, his real following, that that people who grew up to Kurt, Kurt Franklin, not not was already grown when Kurt Franklin got on the scene. But us that grew up with him, we are the ones who saying, "Yo, we rock with you, Kurt." I feel you. Mm-hmm. Fuck that nigga. Exactly. <laughs> Yo, GP still with you, my G. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. <laughs> but the older folk. <laughs> But the, but the older people, the, old, the same ones who have that conversation, the same ones who have that conversation publicly and were damn near killed so it doesn't come out publicly, those are the ones you got to give an explanation for. And 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 that's all is fair in love and war. You know what I'm saying? I so did, that's I that just, just how that go. I just didn't feel like, I was like, man, I just feel like if I was in that situation, one, 
I don't feel like I'm coming out to say nothing. But it, it but if my if it, that's what I'm saying, if it was my if it was corporate, I don't know. I think someone told him to issue an apology. That's what I really feel like. I'm sure. But that's what I'm saying. He got to do that. Because of his, you know what I'm saying? He don't have he to, but it behooves many, him to many, do it. Too, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's taking care of too many people. That's what it is. It's too many. He's he cutting too many checks. No, I think. Too many people But at the same token, too, I think. You know, huh? I said too many people eating off him. Like, he's responsible for too many families. So that's, I guess that's the responsible thing to do, to issue an apology. Well, no. When you, when you have, when you're a public figure, it's your job to consider the people who support you. I guess. I don't think that's Why do you not guess? Like, that make no sense. If, if you're just... Because that's yeah, some entitled supervisor. that's some entitled junk as a fan of somebody. You know what I'm saying? Like these niggas is going through real junk. You don't think that's like some entitlement? And then you feeding into yo, the I en- think, yo, entitlement. I think, can I show when when would you be would you be a successful life 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 insurance agent, right? You accept when you get the runaround from people. Mm-hmm. You accept when you're doing follow-up calls and then some people may be rude, some people may not be rude, some people may not do this. You accept this part of the game because the other part of the game outweighs that. Feel what I'm saying? So so as a public figure, and you're, you're, we're, we're all doing this, We everything that we do is for a dollar. Period. If it wasn't getting paid for it, <laughs> niggas wouldn't be doing it. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So with that being said, that's one of your job qualify. That's one of your job descriptions. When you're a public figure and a public eye, now I didn't say a celebrity, I said a public figure, you have a responsibility. Just like the president, just like everybody else. You have a responsibility. If something goes left, you're a human, but you need to talk to me, cuz. Why? Because I, I pay for that mansion that you live in. I, I pay for this, this, that, and the third. The child that you, that you gave a privileged life to, me and my fellow peers gave that to you. That's only know. fair. I don't think I... And we're going to have to di- agree to disagree, I think. Why? Because that ain't none of your business. That's just a nigga house. If... But it was put into my business. It was put into my backyard. So talk to me about it, bro. Yeah. If it if, if somebody went, if if, if difference is if it was leaked footage or if it was this that, and the third. That was leaked. Or, nah, his, his son put it out. That wasn't leaked. Yeah, nigga, that nigga recorded him. Didn't, right, like, but didn't, that, that's what that's what I'm saying. What, what I'm saying is your is. job. It's your job to keep it out of out of public the public's eye, but when it does reach it, you got to approach it, approach it. That's all. I just feel like it, I, I, I'm not saying it's right. I'm not saying it's wrong. No, what I I'm saying it's the right thing to do. You feel what I'm saying? And I'm it's asking, like, why is that the right thing to do? The same reason why when something goes wrong, even if the police don't agree, or we don't agree with the police, this that, and the third, they got to come talk to us. Why? Because we pay for their salaries. Nigga, this is not a situation like this. is a situation that happened in my house with my family that went out into the public. That's and like, your, nigga. Your like, family brought it out to the public and put you on blast. It showed a character of yourself that you haven't displayed for the last 30 years that you've been in for a public figure. You knew he had a potty mouth, though. When he said, Niggas knew Kirk. Yo, I said, knew when Kirk Franklin came to the palace, Kirk Franklin was a real nigga. <laughs> when I was working, I was working as an usher at my uncle's at the palace <laughs> theater when Kirk Franklin came and said, nah, nigga, ain't enough money. I'm out. Yeah. I don't you know know. Saying? Like, I don't know. But that's not the point. The point of the matter is at the end of the day, the nigga who he's supposed to address. He addressed the he addressed the situation. He did that. Fell back. That's that. 
Yo, so who going to win a fight out of Hitman Holler and, and uh, Cassidy? Cassidy. Cassidy a cornball to me, bro. Mad corny, son. I was feeling hey, yo, the same I, way. Hey, yo, yo, and yo, I've noticed my, my circle has always been small my whole life. You know that. Yeah. But I'm starting to, especially being in that unbiased group, I'm starting to notice there's a lot of cornballs in the world, bro. Like, the majority of these niggas is cornballs. Because they can't even see a cornball. They rocking with the cornball. And it's like, yo, niggas is hoes. And I think, I think Cassidy, I think that whole situation was some host shit. I think it was some host shit. I think Hitman Holler was trying to conduct a situation that he normally does. And what's that? And you trying to be awesome, this, that, and the third. Oh, well, I'm tough and I'm 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 tougher than you. I fuck more bitches than you and this, that. Bro, but you still broke battling on the URL stage. <laughs> you we don't you don't have zero relevance at all. Zero. You have zero wins over here at the URL's platform. He ain't got no your wins since famous, he came back. Your most famous song was with a pedophile trying to get girls to go to the hotel. Yeah, like the list goes on. Like, like you was publicly punked by every nigga from Philly. Mm. Even the niggas that was riding for you. <laughs> Arsenal picked you up by your waist. <laughs> bro, bro, bro. I just feel like I just feel like you went there picking on that man for nothing. I feel like you willing to Yo, and those are the type of those are the type of niggas, those are the type of niggas that are tricking nigga off the street. And that's some whole shit. That's some whole shit. You went there to to, to try this man. Now, now if Hitman Holler would have would have been on one one day, you know what I'm saying? Cause you don't know a nigga personal life. If his his mother was dying from COVID or 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 whatever was going on. And that nigga would have fucked you up, or even worse. Mm-hmm. Would have tricked this man out of a great situation for what? That nigga got a future. You blew yours. <laughs> bang bang. I just think that's some whole shit, bro. Yo, homeboy was kind of a hoe too, though. The, the host, because he keep he kept jumping on Hitman. Like Hitman was doing something. I was like... Because he probably know him personally. He probably know what it, it'll go down for real. See, certain niggas... He, was saying, he wasn't saying that. He was like, yo, he stood up because you... You remember when he was saying that? Like, yo, he stood up because you stood up. He was like, nigga, no. Certain I'm niggas, you gotta... You should all know... You should know of all people, especially having me as a bro. It's certain niggas that should be the focal point out of a situation because the other nigga, we don't got to worry about him. Okay, I get you. This nigga... Hey, bro, I know you, and this nigga, this nigga just talking, bro. You, like, you gonna bring it there for what? It's gonna go there for what? What's happening for what? And the thing about it is, like, like, cat, like, like, like Hitman Holler said, you think what you wanna say, Google him. Mm-hmm. You don't got, you don't got Cassidy out here knocking niggas the fuck out. You got Cassidy. On more than getting, one occasion. Getting grabbed by his waist and moved off the stage. <laughs> Yo, this nigga Hitman be knocking niggas out on the normal. His little bro be knocking niggas out on the normal. Yeah. So if you look at it from, from just the, and I don't know nothing about these niggas personally. I be knowing shit personally about certain things. I don't know nothing about these niggas. But from looking from the outside in, it looked like hit me, holla, hit this nigga. Mm. So let me talk to this nigga. Cass gonna do what he do. He gonna, Cass is the same nigga he was 20 years ago. If that's not the same, if that's not a problem, whether a nigga dress the same, same big ass hats, nigga talk the same, nigga rap the same, nigga walk the same, nigga has the same conversations. That's not even the conversation that, like, if that don't scream whole ass nigga to y'all, y'all niggas is whole ass niggas too. Mm. Like, I don't even, what, yo, what grown man you know that still walk, talk, act, dress, and move the same way as he did 20 years ago. None. 
That sounds crazy. They're not in my circle. Come on, man. Come on. And then, yo, 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 my, I'm, I'm with some different niggas. Yo, you threatening this man. It's, this nigga by himself. You 15 deep. Oh, you, I'm with some different niggas. Them niggas. Yo, listen to me. Listen to me. What? If you was with some different niggas, Hitman Holler wouldn't have been able to pop off the way he did and go grab a motherfucking bag with a burner in it. Let that happen, my team. Hey, yo, you said what? It would have went left. Mm-hmm. But it's all these internet. That nigga, yo, that nigga Cassidy at home, man. <laughs> And I, I can say that freely, free like when I say freely, 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 because you clearly don't got enough money to come see about me. Mm. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's like you're, you're like you. I, I don't know. I just I don't. I, I ain't the nigga to talk shit about niggas like that, man. But I don't like niggas trying to be bullies, and you're a hoe in real life. I don't like that shit. I don't like niggas trying to be bullies, and. There's a nigga out here. You trying to trick this nigga off the street because he more of a stand-up nigga than you? Oh, you got your little your little while and now that nigga. Don't, I know how much I know how much you was making per episode, nigga. That's a worldwide show. <laughs> that's a worldwide show. What the fuck have you done to be on a worldwide anything? Nothing. But so only only vibrant moment you got where I know of is. Hey, yo, freeway, you body freeway, and at the time everybody thought you got your butt raped in jail and had to get stitched up. That's the only, the only thing I know. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? I just think, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, bro. That's that's some whole ass shit. That's just some whole ass shit, bro. I don't know. I can't, I can't get around the provoking. It's like, yo, nigga, I, I'm, I'm this, I'm that, I'm this, I'm that, I'm this, I'm that. Well, grown man over thirty tells a grown man how tough he is and how gangster he is and how he fucks more bitches and this, that, and third. Nigga, you over, you damn near, you over thirty five years old. Why you not married yet, young man? <laughs> a nigga talk like that, you know he got a low credit score. Mm. No life insurance. No life insurance. Barely takes care of his children. When a nigga, because that's all that matters. Oh, I'm tough. I'm tough. Yeah, you definitely only make ten thousand dollars a month, easy. <laughs> you're, you're, you're garbage pail, man. I just, yeah, I think that nigga assassinated his whole character with me, bro, off of that situation. Because that don't need like that's a different type of hold of me, bro. I don't know. Let's move on. We don't got free here to shut me up. <laughs> Free. Yo, but yeah, that nigga going, that nigga, uh, head man going to body that nigga. Oh, yeah. Well, uh. Yeah, what you got? We, we, we may need this. This may be the last topic. All right. So, what's the, uh, what's this junk about Kanye being the richest black man in U.S. history? All right, so one report went out and it projected um, his sales from Gap. Um, you know, he got that partnership with Gap. Uh-huh. It projected his sales and, <coughs> and, and put that as his net worth. When Forbes came out, because Forbes came out and said he was 1.8 million, they said they weren't going to, billion, I mean, they said they weren't going to put anything from the Gap in there because he didn't sell anything yet. So one one magazine put his projected um net worth and the other one put his actual net worth. So he's at 1.8 uh billion. 1.6 billion is actually the richest person richest black person in America. So if he was at 1.6 1. 1. if he was at 6 if he, Six point zero billion. Six billion is the richest black person in America. If he was at six point six, he would have been the richest black person ever in America. But they have put projections in there. 
So that's not his actual net worth. He's at one point eight billion. Words. Yeah, so that's what that what that was. I was kind of hyped for him though, because you know I'd be caping for uh for um for Kanye. You do. <laughs> that you do, my friend. Yo, what's do you think that nigga had um you think that nigga <laughs> blocked his wife from contacting him and she had to contact him through security? Jimmy. What you mean? That's this is what they happened. No, nah, I didn't hear that. Well, they said Kanye blocked uh, Kim, and she she only way she get contact with him, she got to kind of go through his security team. I don't know. It may have been a a, uh, a bad separation or something. Somebody hurt. You know what I mean? She don't seem like she is. Yo, from the outside looking in, bro, it just looked like that nigga gay, yeah, just crazy, bro. Yeah, he crazy, and it's probably a lot to deal with. If you want to be real, probably a lot to deal with. But you asked for these problems. You caped about these problems. You said, yo, I'm taking on these problems. Put these problems on my back. Yeah, but when them junks get too heavy, too overwhelming, you got to start trying to make another decision. They probably they tried to keep it for mad long though. It seemed like. I don't know, man. I don't know. Yo, last thing, you how you feel about uh 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 how what's our time stamp? I don't even know how to even tell. But go ahead. It didn't say no ten minutes left or nothing like that. Uh uh how you feel about Swiss and Timberland selling versus? I know they was getting some backlash from uh from from fans and different people saying, you know, them it's, niggas sold out. It's the same thing. People. It was the, it's the same thing I was saying about about Jay Z. It's the same thing. It it ain't a like niggas know the goal is to build a brand and sell it. Like you know, what I mean, if you know business, you know that's what it is. But I. Even like with um, what's the name of that joint? title? I was saying the you're telling the fans that this is our thing. You know what I'm saying? It's for the fans, by the fan, but well, for the fans, by artists, da 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 da. And then you switch up. It, versus ain't even as how they switch up. Man? Just selling, just selling it. You know what I mean? But they still over it, though. and they still over it. They still play all the part in it. And everybody who has been on Versus has a stake in Versus now. They own, they has, uh, what do you call it? They have equity I get Versus. you. I'm, never, I'm not talking about the owners. And I wasn't talking about the owners before. I'm talking about how you position it to the to the consumer. And I said the only I know, person- but I'm saying, I feel like they still, they still that though. I feel like it's That's still what I, I was about to say, Versus ain't as bad as what, title looked like in the beginning. And I and and after learning a little bit about the title deal, title ain't bad at all, actually. At all. You know what I'm saying? But in the beginning it looked like, oh, we're selling it to corporate. I think people have people who ain't never had shit makes an opinion about a lot of shit. And I think before people do research, they automatically want to see us do bad. It's 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 the Willie Lynch, bro. I yo, think. Vi- yo, versus isn't as bad because it's not like it's another like hip hoppy company that bought it. You know what I'm saying? Something that's yeah. part of the culture still. It just and and like I said, um, title looked bad in the beginning because Square isn't part of hip hop. You get what I'm saying? Right. You know what I mean? Even though we all know they do real good business with hip hop stars, you know, granted like um, you know, Cash App is like the the main sponsor with Joe Button podcast and stuff like that, giving them ownership and stuff like that. They do good business. And they and the title deal is actually really good, really good business. Um, but in the beginning it just looked like, yo, they didn't even say that Cash App people, they said the square people. You know what I'm saying? It's like it just looked, it just looked a, a certain type of way, but 
That's what I'm saying. Uh, verses ain't that bad because it's still in hip hop realm. Right. Just, just the same. I, I mean, you know, I don't know. I, I, I salute. I salute everybody involved. I, Swiss. I think. I think. Whenever I think if a black man make a good deal that makes him and people more around him more successful, it's a great opportunity. It's a great deal. Um, and it seemed like everybody who's screaming that black people need to own and black people should have ownership of shit don't own nothing. Yeah, but they kept, the own, they kept ownership though. They kept they kept ownership. No, no, I'm just talking about the people who critique and oh another another uh uh Tariq from Power, he came out. He one of the niggas. Yo, uh, they another, another sellout, a selling doing this doing. Bro, it costs a hundred dollars to create an LLC. Why you don't got? Why you don't got a business? Why you don't got a black owned business? Yo, I think a lot of people don't know the game. You know what I'm saying? It 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 ain't even about the ownership and stuff like that. It's about building equity and leveling leveling up and. You know what I'm saying? Building something else. You would know that if you was a part of the game or even trying to learn the game instead of being part of the the coon posse that just want to look for a nigga to live the way you always wanted to live. You know what I'm saying? Like, that sounds crazy as fuck to me. It's like, bro, you have the opportunity to show a nigga how it's done. And you get in that position. You get in that position, bro. And, And then say what you do. But until you... this Yo, this man... Took a bunch of people who thought they was just doing something good for the culture and gave them long lasting ownership of shit. You feel what I'm saying? Equity and shit. You feel what I'm saying? That they didn't even ask for. They didn't ask for that shit. They just thought they was giving the show and going to good look. Them niggas said, nah, instead of me talking about a black man and everybody just said a third, everybody want to say something, but ain't nobody giving opportunities. These niggas are given the opportunities, and you still got something to say about that. But meanwhile, you couldn't even be loyal to your own fucking father. In the show. <laughs> oh, that nigga dumb. <laughs> I killed your own goddamn dad. <laughs> <laughs> niggas is crazy. Yo, that's funny. That's Yo, funny. Man. But I, I do uh, think I do think people just don't know the the game of business, you know what I mean? So it's, it is well, what it is. But you're dealing with those people, though. You're dealing with consumers. You're not dealing with producers. You're not dealing with people who's creating business. You know what I mean? Majority of people are consumers, so that's who you're dealing with. But they got a voice now, so that's why we're hearing it. What you doing? This or that? Yeah, I'm trying to look for, uh, look for somebody fucking with Nina, but I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Be a coachable moment first, so we don't got no just sitting time. Dang, nigga. <laughs> 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 nigga, that's crazy. I forgot what I talked about last week. What I talked about last week. Hell no. Come on, man. Say something. Nigga, nigga, you say something, nigga. I thought you, yo, one of us supposed to, God damn. You. You were supposed to have been ready. (laughs) What you talking about? Nah, one of us is supposed to always be ready. All right, so this all right, so I have a acronym that I seen. Um it's it's the it's the acronym for uh the word check. All right? Okay. All right, so the acronym said changing habits every day creates kings. All right? And that's just one of those things like, you know, you got to we create habits every day. We create the good and bad habits every day, and your and the goal should be to create more good habits than bad habits. So if you're daily, um, if you're conscious daily on, you know, creating new habits, 
and creating habits that feed you and not habits that bleed you, mm. um, you'll be a king, my king. So just keep that in your head. Check. Um, C-H-E-C-K. Changing habits every day creates kings. And that's the coachable moment. That's fire. All right, so last week. <laughs> you put it in there so I could see real quick, too, man. <laughs> nah, you already seen it. Did nah, I? I can't find it. <laughs> so last week we had, uh, I'm trying to find her uh, joint. Yo, I, I kept watching that Soldier Boy Charlemagne, Charlemagne clip that you'll be having me die. <laughs> yeah, I, I still ain't watching it. Oh, my God. I don't, yo, why I keep calling this lady Nina? <laughs> What's her name? Amanda Nitza. Oh, I've been my calling God. her Nina. She should, her name should be Nina. Nina, we calling you Nina. Nah, nah, nah. We calling her by her name. <laughs> her, her real name. <laughs> All right. So last week we had. Uh, Amanda man, wins. Amanda <laughs> underscore Nitsa. This week we have Nitsa underscore Amanda. Yo, she, yo, she going crazy. She only battling hey, yo, herself in this game. Yo, she the only one who went back to back with herself. We, yo, she bad and she, she, she cool. She the home team. I'm gonna find. I'm gonna find some competition next week. I'm gonna help you out. Oh, no, I'm it's, fine. Real, it's real hard to be uh, Amanda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I agree. Especially at this picture. Jesus. Um, <laughs> yo, Amanda, yo, she wanted them. You be talking, and then you just see her picture and forget what you're saying. Yeah, she, she make you forget what you're saying. Well, <laughs> I know one thing. <laughs> I say a lot of never mind. <laughs> That's funny. My woman look at you crazy. It's old. <laughs> I'm to stupid guy. Yo, Mike, get us up out of here, Mike. Hey, Alicia Diva, you are now live on any old podcast. Please do not say anything incriminating to me or yourself. How are you? I guess I'm doing all right. Go ahead and take us out of here. Let them know they rocking with any old podcast and they ain't fucking with us. I don't think that I'm allowed to say that. Okay, so say it though. I can't. Come on, man. You're literally live. You got to take us out. Any old podcast.